my real honor to welcome you to the 2014 edition of the World Telecommunication and ICT Educator Symposium, WTIS, here in Tbilisi, with its unique and ancient cultural heritage. I would like to thank the government of Georgia for hosting this event and for the kind and warm hospitality extended to all of us. This year, the WTIS is bringing some very positive changes. For the first time, we are launching the Measuring the Information Society report. This is what the flagship report of ITU that we launch every year. I can tell you that we are happy to launch it here in the country that I make very good uh, improvement in terms of uh, ICT development index. The availability of high quality, timely and reliable data and a robust international measurement framework is of paramount importance. For this reason, I recently commissioned a study aimed at evaluating our current data collection and processing. The expert will present to us here his final report. Further, one of the key topics of this year is big data. ICT are part of the debate on the data revolution because data revolution or data capital, as some call it, is mainly driven and dependent on ICTs. This is why I also commissioned a report on big data that will be presented this afternoon to trigger discussion on this very important issue. As you know, ITU's mandate and work in data, statistics, and measuring in the information society are being reinforced by Resolution 8 of the 6th World Telecommunication Development Conference and the Resolution 131 of the just completed ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. We count on your support in order for us to continue providing reliable data and statistics to all the stakeholders of the ICT ecosystem. Let me take this opportunity to thank all the member states, international organizations, industry and experts that support us in our work. Our two statistical expert groups, the expert group on telecommunication and ICT indicators with around 500 members and the expert group on ICT household indicators with around 300 members we work continuously to improve methodologies, define new indicators, and review existing ones. I would like to thank all the experts for their hard work in contributing in those two groups. Your Excellency, Prime Minister of Georgia, and guests of honor of this meeting, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and the member of your cabinet here present. Your Excellency, you have demonstrated political will by your government to embrace ICT for social economic development. Your country also has also set the bar high for the next host of this symposium. Thank you so much for greeting this meeting by your presence. <laughs> Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by saying this. In fact, our action that can help shape the 21st century agenda and make a real difference in people's life. When I look at the work we do, beyond the figures, I see people. I see very young boys and girls. I see women and men. I see people with disability, and I see the elderly who all rely on ICT to change their life, their lives. I, ICT impacts each of us. Let us be the change agents driven by the shared vision, a vision to make the fruit of the information society accessible to all. I thank you very much. Didi Madlova.